So after you start connecting to people on LinkedIn, people will start to accept your connection. And um, following on from my last video, what I'm going to do in this video is show you what to do once someone has accepted your connection. Now, once someone has accepted your connection, they'll also start to see the things that you post. And what I wouldn't do is send them a message straight away. Um, what I would actually do is um, is wait about a week for them to to see the posts and things that you're sharing on LinkedIn. And also, you can also engage with the things that um, they are sharing. So I could maybe like what some of the things that she has recently posted. Again, just to build up that engagement, to build up those touch points for them to actually see who I am. Uh, so you definitely want to you know build up some engagement first and just try and get a few more touch points if you can. And then about a week later, um, at least a week, you can wait more if you want to, then you can actually send a message. So I can't send a message, well, I could send an email right now, uh, but ideally you don't want to send emails just yet. You actually want to send messages to people. So if I was connected to this person, um, I would be able to uh, click on a button that allows me to send a message to them through the normal LinkedIn way. And when I send a message to these people, um, what, what I want to do in the message is, again, not sell to them at this point. The message, the initial first message that you send to people should be to start a conversation to build up a relationship. So the way that you would do that, there's a few ways. One of the ways is you could ask a question to learn more about her business or their business, to learn more about what it is that they do. Um, another way that you could do it is you could um, say, hey, I've just produced a free guide or a, you know, a piece of content or a video or a webinar or I'm hosting an event. And I'd love uh, for you to check it out or read it or join or whatever, you know, that would be. But giving away something of value first, that's free, that is genuinely going to provide value to those that you're targeting or starting a conversation with them in the same way that you would start a conversation with someone at a networking event, genuinely being interested in what it is that they do. That's the best way to start a conversation with them. So don't jump straight to the sale. Don't try to be like, hey, you know, I'm an accountancy firm. Do you need an accountant? Uh, that usually doesn't work very well. You want to build up a relationship first. So the way you can do that is by starting a conversation, by asking a question, or by actually um, giving them free content. And keep the message short and simple. Now, I'm not going to give you, um, you know, a template to use because if everyone starts using a template and everyone does the same thing then people are very clearly soon going to see that it's just a template that people are using but just use these principles in mind and you know that for the message that you send it usually works better if it actually comes from you and it sounds human and it sounds real and it doesn't sound templatey so you want to make sure that you know you, you just write something that would be within your brand your voice something that you would actually say keep it short and sweet focus on providing value first and, um, and if you just keep those principles in mind that you want to give them free content that helps them first or ask a question, then you can't go wrong. So the first step when starting a conversation with someone is to do just that. Start a, start a conversation by providing value. And then, um, and then what you can then do is continue that conversation. So once, you, once you've started the conversation, you've got them talking, then you can continue the conversation and you can ask them questions more about, more about what they actually do in their business, um, and find out and actually in a way pre-qualify them and then you can start to find out if they would be a good fit for what you do and you can actually um, start helping them. So I'm going to speak a little bit more about how to do that in the next video.